Greetings, everyone. Welcome to another edition of the Bibliophiles. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at Hyperion by Dan Simmons. Anyway, the it, the planet the um, story is centered around the planet of, Hy of Hyperion, where there lives uh, this being called the Shrike, who's this like this weird godlike robot thing. Anyway, um, the story centers around these six pilgrims who are embarking on this on the last Shrike pilgrimage because. You know, it's so dangerous, and Shrike is like this really dangerous thing, so, like, they're about to, t um, like, the government called the hegemony of man is about, like, outlaw and bandit and stuff, and, um, essentially it goes into the various backstories of each of the pilgrims. There's the, the, um... <coughs> A priest, a poet, a soldier, a scholar, um, a detective, and a consular. And, you know, it shows the various ways, reasons why each of these guys are going to the planet to see the Shrike. I'd have to say my favorite would actually be a tie between the um, soldier and the poet. The soldier, because it's just crazy awesome with so much sex and ultra violence that it's just cr it's just crazy cool awesome, and the poets just because it I just found it hilarious, and um, yeah. Um, anyway, um, there's also several other elements such as dealings with uh, the Ousters, which are this tribe of or this group of humans that are like live outside of the hegemony and they and then there's also this um, other group uh, the different AIs exist you know different factions and like I don't want to spoil anything of course I always try to avoid it but um, you know I'll just spoil one thing that is that there's a bit of a sequel baiting at the end obviously for the sequel The Fall of Hyperion which I'll review some other time whenever I get around to it. Anyway, um, <clears throat> final rating for this is 5 out of 5. I just loved it. The various short stories are, are revolving around each character's as we, they go down their journey to see the Shrike was all interesting. The journey itself was pretty interesting. And um, overall, it's just a... Uh, just a very interesting and fun book that I frankly just couldn't put down. Oh, and on a side note, that um, that like um, if there are any anime fans watching, this book is actually um, like there are several references to this in the Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya, and there are um, I think this book actually makes an appearance in one episode. Also, they use it as a sort of a plot point for the movie The Disappearance of Haruhi Suzumiya, which I thought, you know, I saw both, and um, I thought that was pretty cool, or fun, I thought that was a fun little thing to mention. Well, anyway, um, till next time, I'm your host signing off. See you later.